Hi everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. I got this bag in September 2019. That's when they brought it out. So this is about a five year review of this second edition tambourine bag. In today's review video, I will cover wear and tear and the specs and uh, the size and uh, how I normally use it and the, some pros and cons of this bag. Then what can be fitted into it and uh, let's begin. This is Louis Vuitton monogram tambourine bag, it's the second edition. You can see that main features of this bag are very very similar as the first generation tambourine bag. The first generation tambourine bag which you can see from the screen on the picture that was originally launched in 2014 and this one the second generation I had to pre-order and I rang up their Louis Vuitton London customer service team to re pre-order this and uh, pay and then uh, they will do the delivery about two weeks later I got the bag uh, you can see the main feature is the same there is a flap covering the whole um, body of the bag at the front and then there is this little tag with the Louis Vuitton monogram on there and then this buckle this buckle is a bit tight and then open it up and then that may give you the access to the main compartment of the bag so inside of the bag is lined with this bright red uh, microfiber look like a suede lining but this is man-made suede and uh, in there there is this little pocket at the back and then in front of the pocket there is this can you see Louis Vuitton made in France and the uh, label is a leather tag with all the Louis Vuitton names on it you can see just one main compartment there but this bag can hold a lot of things and I'm going to show you what this bag can hold. On the back of the bag there is no other pocket so just a monogram covered all the way and then with all this edging with calf skin and for mine because I, I got this one from 2017 you can see that the leather strap got developed this patina and it has got a little bit darker brown which is quite nice i love it because when they were new this is quite pale but now with this oxygen nation and it, be it becomes darker which is really pretty i love it and uh, the front has this um, louis vuitton monogram on the side one side they're just like one short, long shoulder strap you can see here on one side of the bag is sewn onto the body of the bag but with a little bit of losing strap just like a feature uh, make a little bit more playful you could say and then the strap just gradually it's wider and wider and until the widest part is like that. You can see if I put the narrow bit and the wider part together, you can see there's the difference in that width. And then it, the strap continues onto the other side. On the other side, there is a buckle which you can adjust the shoulder strap. They are one, one, two, three, four, five, six seven so there's seven holes in the strap so you can adjust the, the length of the strap which is quite a good feature and uh, if you really want to wear it really short just a little underarm bag perhaps you can just punch some more holes along the strap according to your own size of your armpits but i haven't done that but i will show you a trick on how to shorten the strap later on the bottom there is just this one single strap again where it's fixing the buckle and the buckle just has one hole on this strap and then if 
back it up and then goes in. So this is the, basically the main feature of this handbag. Uh, I'm going to talk about the size of the bag. The size is height is 15 centimeters, width is 17 and a half centimeters, and the depth is about eight centimeters. So in inches, the height is five and 5.9 inches and then width is about 6.88 inches and then the depth is 3.14 inches so it's quite a decent sized bag and uh, you can see that the bag just has just one compartment and uh, the pros is that the bag can be worn in different many different ways and uh, so it can be wear over the shoulder like this and then sometimes I shorten the strap by undo the side and then I'll take this loose end and tuck it under the buckle underneath of the bag and then make it into a, a loop and then so you can see this like a circle it comes end of that strap comes back onto the side buckle and then I'll just strap it up so now the bag becomes a little handheld bag and put it under the arm but it's a bit tight but however I quite like it just to hold it um, either in the hand or over the arm so I just feel this is a bit more secure so this is the pro of this shoulder strap you can wear this like in two different ways and uh, so but the con is that is difficult to access the bag because you have to undo the strap here and then get into the bag instead if they just do this buckle If they make this kind of like and be lifted up, they just put a magnetic enclosure on the bottom. It will be so much easier to access the bag. And also another con is that because this is quite difficult to access the compartment of the bag, and then it would be good that if they have a pocket at the back, but it doesn't, or maybe a little side pocket, but it, it just it doesn't. So that's the only two things that I'm not 100% happy with this bag. But however, it doesn't reflect really the appearance or the uh, functionality of this bag. So it's just a bit of fiddly and make sure that uh, but it can be undone with just one hand. Once this is being opened, next I'm going to show you what can be fitted into this bag. So once the buckle is undone, and then we just lift up the flap. So the first thing can go in is my card holder. This is the dual um, card holder. And then this go in. Because the bottom of the bag is a bit curved, so I'm going to put the lipstick in first. So it feels the curve on the bottom. So you can see it's all there. And then my inhaler, lifesaver inhaler. And then a compact powder case. And then my Louis Vuitton monogram key pouch. And then my pill box. And then my phone. Go in there. And maybe I can squeeze a pair of sunglasses in there. So it has to be in the right way. 
yeah so you can see everything is laid in there nicely and then I do up the strap that's not a problem and then we go it's just on like this and um, I'm going to take a picture with all the items that had gone into this bag so you have some idea that um, how many items or how much it can be fitted into this bag and now the bag has a little bit of weight I mean because of this is a monogram bag the weight is very very light and uh, so it's about maybe a few hundred grams not very heavy not like the old other ones and uh, this is a good bag that to be taken out about because this material is monogram on a rainy day especially in the UK and that's why I tend to use this one in the winter sometimes I use in the summer I just feel like this monogram design is so much easier for the winter especially you can see that what I'm wearing a brown jumper and then this is such a good color to go with this sort of color palette and also I love to mix this with leopard print shoes because especially now leopard print is coming back really big and I think monogram and leopard print when you put them together they look quite in harmonial and uh, so harmonious so you can see that they they look quite good together so it's some sort of a, you think they might be clashing but they work quite well the bag when I bought it it was and I paid for 1210 pounds for this this model they have discontinued it again and maybe just won't as popular and uh, so there might be some if you like this sort of shaped bag you can get the round the back circle bag from Louis Vuitton and so that's be a good alternative to that because that one has a zip on the top is more easier to access I think the strap of that one can be adjusted as well so I'm going to put some suggestions on the screen that is kind of like a similar in size and obviously from my ranting video which is on the screen there and the Louis Vuitton prices has gone up significantly since I've bought this bag now all of the Louis Vuitton bags in this sort of a size they're all like approaching two thousand pounds mark I think one thousand eight hundred is around all that uh, I have noticed that Louis Vuitton has got some smaller bags out and with a lower price range so I'm going to put some suggestions on the screen so you can have some idea or look and to see if this is something that you would go for for your next purchase so that's it for today this review I hope this is useful for you to consider to go for a, a Louis Vuitton monogram smaller size the bag like this and so thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I hope you like today's video and uh, please subscribe if you haven't and give my video a like and thank you so much for your support towards my small channel I'll see you in my next one thank you bye